Wood element is liver and gallbladder. The emotions associated are anger and resentment. Start with the karate chop point. This sets our intention to look and care for these emotions. Friend of the ears, most recent anger and resentment, stupid people. Corner of the eyebrows, anger, resentment, dealing with ignorance. Side of the eyes, all time, worst ever, anger, resentment. Under the eyes, you can stay with one of the memories if there's a significant charge or look for another, anger or resentment. Inside the eyes, frustration, stubbornness. Side of the nose, upset and depressed. Under nose, indecisive, can't make up your mind. Chin, feeling mad, aggression. Collarbone, the function of anger is to change directions. When you get frustrated enough, it's time for a change. What are you frustrated about now? Underarms, that really needs you to change direction. Time for change. Top of the head, pull it all together, transforming anger and resentment into a clear vision. And then we'll do our two minutes of movement. Bow stance, front leg straight, back leg 45 degrees, pushing into your heel, most of the weight leaning forward on the front. Hips forward, knees straight, and then lunge forward. And we're gonna hold. You can focus on keeping your hips turned, knees straight, back upright as much as you can, and as low as comfortable to hold for 30 seconds. Try a little lower, straighten everything out. Come back up and then switch sides, 45 degrees, straight ahead, hips turned, facing the same direction as the toe. Straighten the knee, lunge forward. We're gonna hold this position for 30 seconds. Advanced warriors might do this for 10 minutes. Try a little lower, just playing around, just kind of getting a feel for your body. Don't go too far so that you can hold for the whole time. You can play around with some postures, straighten an arm. You can use the Kung Fu hand and straighten your arm out. Kung Fu fist into your abdomen. You can try them the other direction to see what it feels like. This would be more throwing something. Try both directions to see how it feels. We're gonna do bow stance pulsing. So we'll get into the same position. Get your hands that, in a way that feels comfortable to you. And then we're just going to pulse down. Keep your mind on the hips, on the knee straightening. Keeping your torso upright, pushing your heel into the floor, but carrying most of the weight on the front. And then switch sides, check your position, position your hands how you like them, and pulse. Keep thinking about all these positions, repositioning as necessary. And another day keeping our word.